Hey, wait, is that a Elysium up there? Trash crabs in a strip club. There's the dancing pole, and some crabs over there, and there's the cocktail sauce. I'm and pretty sure that's not what hey, this is hey, depicting. Hey, someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. So oh, I'll it see. must be the password for the elevator. Else, I need more light. Fine, we need more light. light. This there's a lamp here that I can't do anything with unless I have some items that can do something with it, but I don't think so. Well, let's move on. I don't know what we can do now, but we've still got more places to explore, so I'm not worrying tremendously about it. What else do we have back here? We have a pool. Yeah, that would re but as long as nobody's watching, pretty deep and like okay. the reactor down there. There is a nuclear reactor down there. That's good to know. There's a fork. I want the fork, man. I want the fork. Oh, this French door. Or, or this crank. Or this horn. Or this ducky. <laughs> Can I go in the trunk? No. So, actually, I thought I had other places to go, but apparently I do not. Oh, dear. We may, in fact, be somewhat semi-stuck. And I can't get through this trash pile, right? I can get through this trash pile. I'll save my... Wait, but uh, but these are all so far into the trash that I can't actually get them. Okay. All right, that's fine. I could use the mop handle to get something, to touch something, or to knock the fork down, or to hit the horn. No, okay. In that case, I have no idea what I need to do. Maybe I could throw a pebble at the fork, or at the duck, or at the horn, or at the crank, or at the trunk. Nope. Can't do anything. I don't know what I need to do now, so now it is time to figure out what the hell I need to do, and in order to do that, I shall be cutting around numerous places. There's nothing over here, is there? No, there isn't. Great. What if, actually, first thing I want to try is trying to destroy this lamp with a stone. Huh, I have a projectile. All I need is a weapon to use it with. Ah, uh, I need a slingshot of some kind. Okay, or I could uh, smash sure. it with that. This at the pieces are very slow. No. Hey, that's now changing the flavor. Calzone flavored cotton candy actually sounds like the best thing ever. I can change the flavor of the cotton candy machine, but why? Now it's set to phosphor. I don't know. You could read in the dark on the toilet after eating that. Phosphor is lighty light, like glowy light. Ah, uh, maybe I can use the phosphor in some way to act as some kind of torch or something. Phosphor is glowy light, I think. Something like that. I'm not great at science. <laughs> I'm not great at sciencing. Ah, it works. It's into the fixture to shed light on the mosaic. The cotton candy would have to be on fire or something. Is this a hint? I'm not sure I like the idea of that hint. Could I like use the phosphor cotton candy on this lamp? <coughs> yes. Oh, hey, my epic Gregorian choir is back. I thought I'd left that behind at the crane. Oh, so now it's glowy. <laughs> okay. So I can put that in there, but that doesn't do a whole lot. But if I put it in this one over here, over here, then I can get light over here, which is going to let me do a thing. Someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator, at least... It's written right over the picture of the elevator clock, exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Now, we'll have to use some extraordinary dexterity. There are still more pieces. Well, no problem. I'll have that solved in no time. Oh, yay. Um, this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um... Alright, hey everyone, it's Mindes here, and I'm playing some Professor Layton in the last um, Crusades. So, alright, um, I'll play your game. Game. 
I can put that there. Yes, that is the first piece that I have to put in. I feel so accomplished. All right, it looks like I'm going to be spending a while on this because puzzles of this caliber usually aren't my, you know, strong suit. So, uh, yeah, but well, at least on the bright side, it is only actually letting me put pieces in when they actually fit. At the moment, I'm just kind of trying to fit uh, edge pieces. So I need a triangular edge piece that has an edge on it like that. Okay. And apart from that, uh, like, yeah, I can see, you know what, this, this shouldn't be too bad. This very much should not be too bad. Because like I say, it's only letting me put them in the right place, so that's alright. So it's essentially a matter of trial and error, if I choose to make it like that. Uh, but, yeah. So, I should, in theory, be able to do this. Just in theory. Now, the edge is done. I am not really sure what to do about the inside. But, but you know, uh, actually, I think that it's a yellow piece that goes here. So, if I just, like, try all the yellow pieces. Because all the pieces of the same colour are, in fact, uh, the same uh, thingy. Same shape. So, that's... So, really, honestly, this is fairly, you know, generous in terms of uh, what I have to do. I don't really know how long I can continue speaking for because this isn't a puzzle with a massive amount of... Uh, apparently that goes there, okay. <laughs> it's a puzzle with a massive amount of um, things to talk about behind it. But I'm certainly going to try because, you know, it's, it's really never stopped me before to kind of just not have anything to talk about, right? Pretty sure it's never stopped me before. Why does this piece have the chewing gum on it, but none of the others do? <laughs> I have no idea. Does that go somewhere? Who knows? This is ultimately going to revert to me just um, not knowing what I'm doing and... Yeah, what, what fits down there? Very little looks like it actually fits down there. Well, that fits there. <laughs> uh, things are going well. You know what? I, I could not ask for a better like, way for things to be going, because ultimately, I'm not doing it tremendously efficiently, but at the very least I am doing it. And that's more than can be said about certain other puzzles in this game that I cheesed the hell out of. <laughs> oh well. Uh, as we're, like, getting down to fewer pieces, in theory, this should be getting easier, but actually I'm finding that this is actually getting slightly harder because I'm having fewer pieces to fit in places. Uh, perhaps a large part of the difficulty I am having is related to the fact that I'm trying to fit them exactly. But no, it can't be because they're, trying, they're supposed to fit exactly, right? Okay, an orange stone goes there. For some reason, I never noticed that orange stone before. Yeah, this bottom right corner is weird because I'm pretty sure there's nothing that can, you know, fit in there or anything. So I'm wondering if actually something is wrong. No, I can't take these pieces out; they're already in. So they, like any piece they're already in must be 100% absolutely legit correct because I can't. I don't like. I, it won't let me take them out. So if they're not legit correct, then I'm going to have a problem. As far as this puzzle goes, though, pretty sure we're almost done with it. I can't read a thing that this thing says, by the way. If this is supposed to be a password, then I am in no way ever going to be able to read it. Which is fantastic. I'm trying to put in a piece over here. For some reason, this last bit is giving me a little bit of issue. Maybe that goes there. That does go there. And maybe this goes... here? And then maybe this goes here. Yeah, we seem to be missing huh? some bits. Why doesn't this fit? I guess I'll just have to press harder. That's a terrible idea, Rufus. Why does that not fit is a very good question indeed. Does this come from a different mosaic? Still not right. I'll get there. Keep Go pressing, in. Rufus. Go you in. can do it. Damn thing. You're supposed to Oops. Uh oh. What about the elevator code now? Damn it. Oh jeez. <laughs> now the shard is hopelessly destroyed, but the chewing gum still looks all right. Uh, but it's no better than it was before. I think the uh, the gimmick here is that uh, Rufus is not that great with things. Torchlight. 
Now we've got a torch, now we don't actually need one. Is there anything else I can play with around there? A few switch, sure, press everything. The system reboots. Press all the buttons. <laughs> the code for the elevator has been reset. Here comes the new one. <laughs> Something really He's gonna cool. put Rufus. R U F U S. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's actually, you know, pretty damn funny. This game's getting better again. I'm happy with this game again. You know, chapter three has been ultimately so pretty 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 good. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I'm happy. The password is Rufus. I've said it myself. Or have I gone crazy? There we go. We're going. We're going somewhere. We're going up to the roof. Sweet. Yeah, I think that's Elysium up there, attached to the, like, tether. Oh, so far, so good. Now I just have to wait. Hmm? What's that sound? Organon Cruiser? What are they doing here? Is this a trap? Is Cletus an ally of the Organon? Well, I guess I'll have to take a closer look to find out. So I have to do something somewhere. What is there I can play with? I can go back down if I want to. There's an embellishment over here, so naturally, like, there's loads of things I can look at, but I'm pretty, pretty curious about this embellishment over here. Ooh! Oh, I know what I have to use that for. <laughs> Looking forward to slinging some shots. All right, what does this lever do? It does that. Is that important? I don't know. I could put up another flag, actually, but I don't have another flag to put up. Can I use a flagpole in some way? Not at all. Elysium! Never been so close. I could just climb up that wire and I'd be all the way at Elysium. 